a map. I don't need no map. Look, I'm bigger than every single room on this screen. So hello everybody, we're going to play through level 2 of Castlevania. We're picking up a cross and a heart. You can throw the cross like this like a boomerang and it comes back. So Waga posted in the thread something like, How can you prove that you're actually not cheating and safe stating through this like crazy? Well, you see my emulator right now. You can see everything that I do safe state wise here. You see, I just save a state. I cannot conceal all of this. And you can, you can pretty much see that. Whenever I'll go from frame to frame, there will be no consistency error whatsoever. I'll have the same score, same amount of lives and all this. Right now, I'm showing you that I'm indeed not using any game genie codes or anything, so I'm not a dirty cheater. And there's no video playback feature at all in this... Uh on this emulator as well, so this is going to be attempted truthfully. So, alright, we're digging up four crowns by digging horizontally and they pop up vertically. This is like the day where the mole comes from the ground in order to tell you that it'll be sunny tomorrow. So we're jumping over this night, yeah. We're going to actually do on this level a pacifist run, which was suggested by Lord Slowbeef, who thought that Simon Belmont had too much of an easy time going through this game so far. So we're going to go through this level without killing anybody, except for the boss. So this is going to be a very frustrating ride because I love to kill people, hug! So yeah, we're in a very particular place of the level. I actually don't remember this part I thought from the original Castlevania. This probably is another level which is uh, which was a reject and which found my way into the weird rum that I'm using. It really seems tacked on because it has nothing to do with the rest of the level. As you can see here, we're going from a clock tower to a guard tower. Green and red do not mix well together. So we've just avoided another bat that I can't wait to find the kill because I hate being a pacifist. And we've got a double shot. This allows you to use the item that we're currently wielding twice in the screen without them fading away. But since we're doing a pacifist run... Sorry, kitty. So the only thing that we're going to fight with is by using our feet, by running and jumping. Yeah, I'm collecting money bags, and I'm avoiding two matters ahead, and I'm standing here because Ignite is really well bad place, and oh, we've got a treasure chest out of nowhere by standing here. Patience awards the man who wants to be awarded. Or or something like that. I don't really remember how the saying goes. Oh great, some more medus ahead. Those one are a bit trickier to avoid because you need to time your jumps well through them. But fortunately they fade away as soon as they appear, and now we're surrounded by knights. Get off my meat! It's mine! You're not eating my meat! Arr, come on! Alright, screw you knights, I'm taking the elevator! Elevator forever! Alright, we're going to another one of these slow-moving elevators. And we've got the return of the Medusa heads. The second and the third part. But we're avoiding those bastards in order to go to another area. Which is the last part of this gauntlet of epical proportion. There's meat here, but it's really pretty much useless because you're probably going to lose all of your health here if you're not careful because those spikes kill you and the hit detection really is bad. One pixel off and you're dead. Oh, oh shit, there's a ghost, there's a ghost. Can we outrun the ghost? Yes! We've managed to scare the ghost by running away. This is how it works in Transylvania. Now here comes the most disgusting part of the pacifist run. You really need to time your jump perfectly and to make matter worse, they shoot fireballs at you that you need to avoid. So it's pretty much all luck as well in pulling up the jump perfectly. This ghost tries to chase us but he's no match for our lovely feet. Oh yeah, Bilement, you are a sexy bitch. Alright, some more Medusa heads that, that we need to avoid in order to finally finish this carnival of epical proportion. In order to finally stop becoming a pacifist again! Burn your stupid head! Yes! That's what it feels like to be a man! Yes! So, this closes the door to this very easy boss that we're just frying like hell. And we're collecting the Horby thing, and we're celebrating by doing a very heroic fighter pause in the air. Simon Bellman knows how to be a convenient fighter. So this is it for this level, see you later.